A compressor, to make it really simple, um, it controls the peaks of your performance. Okay, so for instance, say, um, you know, I'm like, you know, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Say, yeah, yeah, you know, then as soon as I do that little yelling part, I may not want that to be as loud as some of the other sections. And I can look at my audio right here and tell what might be really loud. Like this section right here might be really loud. And I might want this to be a little bit more even with the rest of the audio. So what you do is you take a compressor. There's multiple different type of compressors and they all have different functionalities. Uh, but you take like a Sinaitis compressor and you set the threshold. So when you listen to it, you're looking for I wanna know the part where it peaks. I wanna know if you really like me. And what I can tell is that most of my audio is around negative 12 decibels. Okay. Let's look at I it again. Wanna but that know. part's a little hot. I wanna know. That's a little above. That's above. If you really like me. Okay, so that last, uh, if you really like me, all of that is lower, it's below negative 12 decibels. So I can say, you know what? Let me go ahead and just do, uh, let's just set it to negative 12. So what that means is that anything that's above 12 will be reduced. Now, but I have to tell it how much I wanted to reduce. And let's say I'm doing like 2.3 to one. So that means for every time that my audio goes over the threshold, which is negative 12.1, it's gonna bring it down. It's gonna reduce it down. So you'll be able to see it. I wanna know. I want to know. Okay, you can see it's reducing it. Like 1.8. Really like me. Yeah. Let's go back and look at it again. I want to know. Okay, so it reduced it like about 1.8 decibels. If you're not understanding this, you know, take your time. You know, if you need to pause the video, if you need to rewind something because you're missing something, or if you have a question, please let me know in the comments. Uh, sometimes this stuff can be confusing. Even sometimes I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. But as I learn, I love to share with you all. So it's all about trial and error. It's all about trying to figure out. Uh, but the main thing is just trying to get that control, get more of a controlled audio. Now, another thing you could do is you could go back and you can like turn those little sections down or you can automate the faders or either one like that. But this just makes it a little bit more easy on you, less work you have to do. Gain makeup is really good. Say for instance, if you had already used a threshold and you got it down so low and it sounds good, but now your volume is lacking, you can always boost the gains up and boost the decibel level. So, all right, now the tack down here is how fast do I want the compressor to kick in, basically? Think of it like this. When you're getting ready to squeeze a note, how fast you're gonna squeeze it? Like, as soon as you hear the note, oop, oop, you squeeze it. And then after that, you decide to hold the note. And then when you release it, then you let it go. And then it's free to breathe again. So that's basically how I think about it, even though that's a weird analogy. The limiter on here can actually be used to keep distortion from happening if you boost the gain level too high. But you can also use this plugin just as a limiter if you don't want to use a compression. But say, for instance, if I boosted this gain like really, really, really high, skyrocketed or whatever. And let's say I'm just doing this. And let's say if it goes all the way up and I put that limiter on, it's supposed to help keep from distorting. Now, I don't know if that's going to work well or not. I want to know. I want to know. Okay, as you can see, it still sounds good. It doesn't really sound distorted. This TCR at the bottom stands for Transient Control Release. And its job is basically to help like control the way the compression engages. So that way you don't get this like pump pump effect uh, sometimes, which can happen if you have stuff compressed way too much. Uh, so it's just supposed to help control it so that it has a, a better release. I want to know. I want to know if you really like me. 
So now that I have a control, now I, I can do a gain makeup. Yeah. And I can boost that a little bit more if I need to. I wanna know. I probably wouldn't have it that high, but. No. I wanna know if you really like me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's how that particular one works. 